Hi, this is Eslin. Welcome back, my fishies. Today, I'm going to make something called hot water cornbread. My grandma used to make it all the time. And you know, sometimes when you don't have time to let it bake in the oven, this is a good substitute. Now, I have my hot water boiling in the microwave. It's going to be coming off in a few minutes. I have my oil. It's heating up already just to save a little bit of time. And I have the cornmeal here. Now, this is Martha White's cornmeal. You can use any other kind of white cornmeal that you like. There's the microwave. I like Martha White because my grandma used Martha White's. But like I said, there's other cornmeal that you can use. Now, the water is going to be extremely hot. You use boiling water. I just put it in the microwave a little easier. But you always use boiling water to make it. Now, as you can see, this water is very hot and it's still boiling. So... I'm going to pour some in here, and I'll show you the consistency, only because she didn't measure, and I don't measure, so that's not a good thing for you guys, I know, I'm sorry, but she didn't measure, and I don't matter, I have to show you the consistency. Okay, now, as you can see, the I'm stirring it up, Oops. trying to get down in the bottom down there, so I can get all of that, where that dry is, I want to get it wet. So I'm going to go back over by the counter. Yes, I want to mix all of that dry. So I'm just going to take it and mix it till I get it all stirred up. Might need to, add, need to add a little more. I think I do to get all of the dry off of the bottom. Just a little more. Now this is going to be hot. When I'm making the patties, they're going to be hot. But I have tough hands, so... You might, I have to, hmm, a suggestion. You might want to wear some gloves or use a spoon to scoop it. But she never taught me to use a spoon, so I'm not going to use the spoon, but you can use a spoon to scoop it. Get this all down in the bottom here. Yep, see how I got most of that down in the bottom? All uh, mixed up. Don't want any dry cornmeal. So I'm going to take this here off out of here. Set it over here. And then I'm going to take it and make like little patties. I guess that you would call them patties. Take it and roll it a bit. Roll it, make them flat. See? Flat like that. Now we're going to see... Let's see if it's hot. Now the oil is hot. Oil is already hot. So we're going to start dropping them in. There's one. Like I said, roll it, roll it, roll it. Smash it out. Smash it. So we have two in there already. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to roll some more real quick and stick them on the plate. So that way, I'm just making a mess over here, isn't it? I'm just making a mess. I'm keeping an eye on them. So you want to cook them until they're golden brown. Yep, let's see. I can make a couple more in here. Let's just say I'm making a mess. Yep, you just roll it. I'm making a big mess over here. Sorry about that. But I'm just making a mess. Sometimes, you know, messy tastes good. Okay, now we have another patty here and see those are just about ready for me to turn over another patty we're going to sit that there i need to rinse my hands off really fast here so i can turn them over it won't burn okay my hands are all clean now now you have to be careful make sure your hands are good and dry remember what i said before oil and water don't mix i'm going to use my spatula i'm going to turn it over Oh, yeah, those are browning up really nice. Just want to show you how, see how they're browning up really nice? Yes. Now, you don't want to totally submerge them. You just want to have maybe about that much and that much oil. You don't want to totally submerge them. Because if you submerge them like that, then they'll come out really greasy. I'm just going to wipe this off really quick. Rinse off my hands again. Why? I don't know. And then I'm going to sit this over here. I'm going to get a, some paper towels. 
so we can drain them on the paper tip, paper plate. Okay, I have a paper plate to drain them on. Oh, they're almost ready. That's why I said they're quick. That's what I was saying. Quick cornbread. Now, like I said, these are just about ready. Almost ready. Just about really ready. So what I'm going to do, since these two are almost ready, I'm going to take it. I'm going to drop another one in there. I'm just going to shape it back up really nice. I'll drop that one in there. The other two are almost done. They're just about all done. Okay, let's see. This one is done. And this one is done. Yes. Now, I want to, before I show them, I'm going to slip in these other ones so I don't get too far behind. I'm going to slip this one in. So I'm going to have to wait a few more minutes to slip that one in. But I wanted to show you guys, look how, look at that. Isn't that delicious? Just golden brown. This is called um, hot water cornbread. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to eat it with some greens that I have heating up on the back burner. But I'm still keeping my eye on the ones that I have in my pot here um, frying. You can also use a skillet. It's just that I like this because I use a pot because it doesn't splash all over my stove and get the stove all greasy. So yes, these are, these are cooking up really nice. These are almost ready to turn over. I think this one is ready to turn over. Oh, not quite. Let's see if I can manage this. Okay, there we go. This one's just a little bigger than the other ones. But they still need turning over. Okay, now I'm going to get a bowl. Be right back. And I'm going to get a large fork. Like I said, you have to be careful around grease and water or grease and other elements that are juicy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this over before I get the greens out. And yes, I am not going to eat all of the cornbread that I make today. Some of it's going to my testy foods, my trusty food saver. But with the uh, hot water cornbread, what you can do, if you take it out of the freezer, you can either put it in the air fryer or the oven for a few minutes, and it'll pop back crispy. That's I love the air fryer also. But yes, you can make it ahead. And like I was saying before, you get in there, you can just pull it out. And uh, with these uh, um, cornbread, you can just put it in the oven or the air fryer. That one's not quite done yet. But what I'm going to do, okay, hot, remember, always hot, away. Steaming away. Now I'm going to put me some greens in here. Oh, that's delicious. Now, the greens were cooked last summer or fall. Yes, they were in my food saver. And what I like to do in a food saver, I like to put single servings into the food saver. That way, I can just pull out a single serving or if someone comes over and they don't like a vegetable or they like a different vegetable than I do. We can all have what we like. Now, I take the greens and I'm going to show you. Look at that. What that looks like in the inside. Can you see that? That is good. That is. Mmm. Tastes really good. And it's going to taste even better with my greens. Let me get a fork that I thought I had. Now, this is, the hot, this is the greens. They were cooked earlier, and I had them in my food saver. Now we're going to try it with a piece of the hot water cornbread. Mmm. Now, that is really good. It takes me back, I mean, childhood memories. Good greens and cornbread. Fried. That's really good. Okay, now our other ones are almost done. Since we're talking, we're going to take them out so I can show you how good and golden brown they are. You don't want to let them stay in too long. 
Oh, yeah. That looks great. That looks just great. We're going to take this little piece out that fell off. Oh, yeah. Now we have one more to fry. I'm just going to stick this in real quick. In the oil. Now doesn't that look delicious? Doesn't that look good? I'm using the paper towel just to drain the oil. And after I do that, I'll take it off. They'll cool, and I'll put them in a food saver, the ones that I don't eat. So, if you like what you see, thumbs up. If you want more, hit the dinner bell. You can leave a comment. We can discuss things. You know what? Sharing is free and subscribing. If you want more, stay tuned. Stay tuned. You know what? Everybody stay safe and positive, and we'll be back. Have a nice day.